so I woke up at like 8 o'clock. But I got ready like because I need to look decent for this poster presentation. I mean, honestly, I don't really care. But it's like not fun outside. I didn't know it was raining. It was raining. I didn't know it was snowing or like blowing winds this hard. So Hannah's going to come and pick me up. But I need to get this stuff out of my car when my parents take it in over lunch time. So I'm going to change into warmer clothes and then go out there, clean off my car and get stuff out of it. Because I don't, in case we somehow get our money back and drop it off. I'm like, well, it's already clean. Like, you can have it today. Then I want all my stuff out of there. Like, oh, my hair is probably not even going to stay curly, be curly, curled because um, the weather. So it's probably just going to end up being wavy soon. And I might just have to throw it up in a ponytail because I just don't want to deal with it. I'm trying to get it to look decent. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go outside and change. I'm going to change and go outside and, you know, fix, get things out of my car. All right. See in uh, like five minutes. All right, so I got my car cleaned off a little bit, but I just drove it into the the like I pulled it into the garage to let it melt, and took mostly everything that I had in there out. Besides, like I don't know if they need to keep the insurance stuff in there for when they bring it back today. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might. I mean, we might be keeping the car. I don't really know what's gonna happen. But anyway, this is the outfit of the day. Got my pants on my little high-waisted they're not a little I should say they're pretty baggy high-waisted pants then I just have this sweater from Forever 21 and then I just have these earrings in you can see them yeah these little they're just the gold hoops I literally wear every single day and then I'm wearing that um bracelet that I got in my fat fit fun um yeah she jumped on the bed, didn't she? I see her. Making herself comfortable. But, yeah. It's like a little... I need to, like, tease it or something. But, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to find something to eat for breakfast. If I have time. Because Hannah's supposed to be here in, like, four minutes. So she'll probably be here in, like, four minutes, actually. So... Alright, well... Probably be at school when you see me next. I really do not want to do this poster presentation thing at all. Not at all, man. Someone's calling me. Hold up. Yeah. You can leave early if you can, if you haven't left yet. Well. I think Hannah's on her way right now, so. Okay, that's good. Because you can't, uh, if you go up 84, just really bog down. I don't know what kind of car she drives, but. Okay, well, she's here, so I gotta go. Bye. Alright, bye. Okay, well, Hannah's here, so I gotta go. Bye. We're heading to school, and up on this other hill in front of us is like a sixth car pile up, and I'm gonna try to get some footage because it's juicy. Oh, up there. Oh, that's my finger. It's right here. There's like five. There's like a bunch of cars. At least it's a community gathering. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm tired. So, that um, poster gallery thing I was talking about, that didn't even last that long. That was, well, it was like two hours, but only like three people who weren't in the class, three, probably like actually six people in total who weren't from the class came and actually looked at the posters. Like, is mainly all is just just looking at her own posters and explaining them to the rest of the class and then I literally took them off the stand ripped up the foam board that I bought yesterday and threw it in the recycling along with the poster because what there's nothing that I'm gonna use that for and so yeah but then after that Katrina and I went to three happiness which is like a Chinese restaurant in Omaha and um, got some dinner and so now I'm home 
and I cleaned out the dishwasher and I'm trying to clean up some stuff for tomorrow um there's like people outside which is weird huh um yeah now I'm gonna take my makeup off and take a shower try to work on some homework and vacuum up my room it's got some stuff on it and then All right, so long story short, <laughs> the thing that I was literally, it's so crazy how life works, man. So even when I was telling you guys, I go, yeah, I cleaned up the, I cleaned up the dishwasher and I cleaned up a little bit for tomorrow, because tomorrow, I, I'm not even kidding you, for the past, like, three or four days, I kept thinking that, like, Kendra, Kim, and Cassie, like, girls in my Bible group, were going to come over to my house and at 6.30 on Tuesday, tomorrow. So that's why I kept saying, oh, I need to get stuff tomorrow, like, I need to get ready for tomorrow. So, I, that you literally saw my reaction. I had no idea that they were coming over tonight, and so I was so confused when the doorbell rang, and I heard people talking outside, because I heard someone fall, and then I hear just voices. And that's why I didn't, like, do anything. That's why I was so confused when the doorbell rang, because I literally didn't hear my dad go get the door, so I was like, you know, I'll just go get it, because I heard someone knock. So I run down there, and I open the door, and it's Kendra and Kim, and I was like, what are you guys doing here? Like, I, like my initial thought was maybe they're just around town and they just wanted to stop by because they wanted to know where the house was. And they go, it's tonight. And I go, I s no, it's tomorrow. And they go, no, no, it's tonight. And I was like, well, does Cassie know it's tonight? They go, yeah, she's on her way. I go, well, come in. I don't have any food that we can eat. Because I forgot Cassie was bringing pizzas. But I had told everyone I was going to bring like a veggie tray. So we had pizza and some cookies, and then I found carrots and grapes in my fridge. I was like, well, let's just eat these, I guess, but it was a good time. We did some fast-paced typing um, challenges against each other and just talked about, they talked about OT school. Um, my college is St. Mary's right now, and so they just got done, and so they're on break. But, um, like, I'm doing, I want to do OT, so it's, like, kind of interesting to hear what their process is and they're do, they're, what they're doing right now. Oh, but it was just, I can't believe it happened. I'm going to have to, like, record. I have to show them the part of me talking and then, like, I can hear them. It's so funny. I just I can't believe it. Anyway, now that it's, like, 9.30 and I'm so sorry, Mom and Dad, they were downstairs and my mom had groceries in the garage and they weren't going to bring them up and so the groceries were staying in the garage for, like, two and a half hours and I, they could have came up, but they didn't. So, they're now eating dinner at 9.30. So sorry, love me. Anyway, today went unexpectedly well. I kind of wasn't prepared for it. But now uh, tomorrow, um, I'm going to campus. I'm going to try to work out. Um, and then I have to do a self-evaluation for the speech that I gave last week. And then I think we're doing like a review in my speech class. And then I have health literacy and then that's it. But, um... Yeah, so my friend Kevin's going to take me to school tomorrow around like 8.15. And then I'll probably see you guys when I'm working out. But I'm just still think it's so funny. I was so shook. I was so I, You guys even saw me talk about what I was going to do. I was going to take a shower and then do homework and like go to bed. It's so funny. I just can't. It's just so funny. Okay, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to take a shower and probably do quick homework and then go to bed because it's 9 30 but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye